Big Daddy here with another video in the series of customizing KDE Plasma 5. So in the last video we got through window management and well we didn't get through window management which is why the Hemi is still sitting in the driveway here. So we're going to continue on. We had got through windows behavior. We're off to task switcher. So the task switcher, basically the main one is your alt tab. So the default is breeze. So when you hit alt tab, well, let's open a few windows here to see what we got to show off. Okay. And you can just keep holding alt and tabbing through to get to the window you want. You have cover switch, which is one of my personal favorites. You have flip switch, which is pretty nice. It's almost like a windows type thing. Um, and some of these are settings like for the flip switch, you can do change the angle of it, um, display the window titles, um, do the horizontal position to see where it's going to be. And you can change it to all desktops or current desktops. So, uh, some of these are settings and like, for example, like this has only a few settings, but you can zoom it. So let's see here. Let's do near. Yeah, see, that's like zoomed up. And we probably don't want it zoomed up that far. So we'll leave it at that. How's that? Yeah, that's a little bit better. Zoomed, but not zoomed. Zoomed. If you know what I mean. Okay, so uh, the breeze, none of, not all of these have settings. So like this breeze here has a little um, sort of like an animation to show you what it does. So this is obviously not my desktop and this is, looks like KDE 4, I believe. <laughs> so some of them have that. Now, so the ones that don't have settings have that little animation to show you what it does, but not all of them work. So this is the breeze dark. I don't know why that is that way, but then you have small icons, which is really small icons. You have thumbnails which are like kind of, kind of like an XFCE type thing. You have informative, which is really super informative. Or so it says. And, uh, okay, so I'm going to stop there because for some reason with my system here, I you can actually click this and get new uh, um, scripts, new window switchers, whatever you want to call them. Or you could just say, get hot new stuff, like it says. All right, so you can have, there's tons of these, but I did install some of these. And like, for example, this one, I installed preview reel, and it's supposed to be like a camera reel, but it doesn't exactly work. So it kind of like defaults back to, like, let's see what this thumbnail grid. See, it defaults back to this one. All of these below there, like this is like a window wall where it just highlights whatever, it just highlights whatever window's there and takes the opacity down for all the other windows. And every single one of these under window wall will be the same way. It'll, no matter what you do, uh, if you do preview reel, it's still gonna be that way. Not sure, it must be a bug. I don't know if there's only a certain amount allowed in here to where you can only have so many or what. But either way, none of these below here are working. They're all giving the same effect as that. Maybe you gotta set it and log in and log back out. I don't know. But that's pretty much, that's basically enough previews so you can you get the gist. All right, so your shortcut to do this is Alt-Tab, obviously. Um, you can Alt-Tab and then to go backwards, you would hold the Shift and do back as well. So. Um, that would be the backwards motion of the, the alt shift and you would hit the tab again and it would go backwards. The shift actually makes it go in reverse. So now say you have two windows open in the same application. Like say you have two, uh, let's, uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, let's go to my computer folder. So say you have two dolphin windows, the combination to get through these is all 
and the tilde key or alt and the apostrophe. So you're in here and you would do alt and the tilde key. It would only switch between the application. So just between those. Um, uh, that's a pretty useful feature, I think. All right, so the sort order is recently used, or you can do a stacking order. Um, you can include the show desktop icon when you're switching, so that will add another I, another item in there. But I'm going to switch this back to cover switch because that's what I like to use. All right, um, only one window per application. You can check that if you don't want to flip through multiple windows of say dolphin. So you got six dolphin windows, and you don't want to flip through six of them to get to the Chromium window you have open, then you can check this. All right, so virtual desktops, uh, if you have, you're using them, you can, if you're not, you can uncheck them. But either way, you can do the current desktop or all desktops. For the activities, you can do the current or all. And screens, you can do the current screen or all. All right, um, the alternative is you can have two, basically. That's basically what this means. You can have two, uh, you can have alt tabs set to do the cover switch, and you can have another key combination set to, say, flip switch, like I have here. So then we would do a, let's do a control plus tab for the flip switch and see what that does. See, now that is a, it's probably should be in the reverse. We can do control shift tab. Okay, so the only problem with that is it doesn't actually go forward. So you can bring it up, but it doesn't actually switch the window anywhere. Like you can't just keep hitting tab and it actually working. That's the one bug or whatever that I found with that. So it can be done, but it's not exactly useful when it doesn't work right. So you have the same settings as you do in the alternative as you do the main, but that's basically what you can do with it. Now, moving on to the KWIN scripts. Now, most of the good ones are already included in, have been incorporated into KDE. Um, with uh, the actual desktop effects. So the desktop effects, you know, they start out as like little tiny scripts and then you, you, you basically, the good ones, they say, oh, look at that, we can do that. It just gets incorporated into KDE. But there are other ones that you, if you get new ones, you can go through here. Just beware that, you know, they are scripts that are running. So if you want to go for it, go for it. But I did get one here. It says True Video Wall, and that spans all full screen apps over all attached screens. So like if you're playing a video, like VLC works with it. You can full screen it, and it'll. But there's really, for me, it's not. There's no purpose because it's the video is halfway in between this screen and the next. So, so there really isn't much in here. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, maybe if you have a script that's useful, put it in the comments and we'll look at it. But off to Windows rule, window rules, I should say. So you can export your window rules and then import them if you reinstall. But window rules are basically um, items that you set the windows to do. So, for example, you can create one here and you can tell it which one you want and but you really got to be careful what you pick here because you see these are all highlighted and which means it's going to do everything and you really in even when you get through this and you add something it's going to say you don't want to do everything okay you don't really want to do that do you that's what it's going to say it's not really going to say that to you but that's what it's going to say um so I'll show you what I did. The easier way to do it is rather than hit new is to open the application you want to use and or change. And then you right click and hit more actions. And the difference between these are special window settings, which means it's just going to affect this window and not any other window in Dolphin. So it'll affect this window, but say, um, let me open this up a little bit more so we can get to the control and you when you configure dolphin it won't affect this window 
in Dolphin. Because if you're going to say you're going to make it a certain size, you definitely don't want to affect the preferences window. You don't want to make the preferences window the same size as the main window. So say you want to say that's what you want to do, which is what I usually do is I make Dolphin a certain size. I want it to open up at a certain point all the time, certain spot, certain point. So I have my windows set to be centered. So they're always going to end up in the center. But that's exactly the say I wanted to open up Dolphin to open up over here, right here at that size. So I would right click more actions and I would do uh, special window settings, which would basically when you do the window matching, it's going to do the normal window. It's not going to pick the dialog windows or any other, the dock or the splash screens or nothing. It's just going to pick the main Dolphin window. So the size and position is what we're looking for here. And the do not affect apply initially means it's going to apply it initially, but then you can move it wherever you want it. Um, the remember option is, I'm sorry, the apply initially is does it once and then it's not going to affect it at all. It's just going to do it once. That's it. And it's going to forget what it just did. The remember is it applies and then it will for, then it will allow you to move this around. The force um, is constant all the time, every time, no matter where it is, which is why I cannot move around my uh, system settings. I, if you see, there's no uh, way to like resize this window because I have it set to be this size all the time because I think it's the perfect spot for to see all the icons at the, at the right angle and not to have the windows overlap and whatnot. So it's I am not able to resize that window now because I have a rule in there stating that. So um, the apply now is applying it and it will apply it but it won't force it to be that way okay and force temporarily is just it's not even worth using so you would either do force or remember so I guess the best option is to remember and you got to do this so say you did you came in here and you clicked position but you didn't check that and you hit okay it's not gonna do anything it's you have to click one of these to remember it all right, uh, you can maximize the window all the time, horizontally or vertically or both. Um, you can place it on a specific desktop, a specific activity, specific screen. Um, you can full screen it, minimized or shaded. You can place the initial placement and you, know, you, you can read. I don't have to read it all to you. Uh, arrangement and access, you can for the taskbars, the, you can skip the taskbar so it doesn't actually appear there. Um, appearances and fixes, you can do where there's no title bar and frame, which I don't know why you would do that, but it's there. Uh, you can change the title bar color screen color scheme for a specific window. Um, the opacity, focus dealing prevention. Well, you can pretty much do anything you want in here. So we have position and size to remember. So basically we have that set now. All right, but let me go in here and make sure I don't have any other dolphin settings. So see, here is another one I had. So I'm going to just delete that for the moment. And there. So we have our thing set. So now when I close it, it's going to appear right here all the time at that size. Even though I have the windows centered or to be centered for a dolphin, let's put this way, for any other window, um, I'm going to have open up it's going to be centered. Okay, so k is going to make a liar out of me. But see, when you open up Terminal, it's centered. Um, when you open up k Guard, it's centered. But for Dolphin, it is opened right where I asked it to open up at. So that's what a window rule does. And like I said, you have the special window settings for just that, or you can do a whole application. If you don't mind doing the whole application, like if you're just going to do I guess what you would do for um, a whole application is um, like if you were going to, uh, let's see here. For the whole application, if you were going to set it at a certain spot, that would be okay. Like um, if you were going to put the position of it, I want it always to open up here. That would be okay, even for dialog boxes because 
that's where you want it to be. But you don't want to do a specific size because that will affect the smaller boxes and whatnot. And as you can see, I have this set to minimum size and maximum size. That's the size I want it to open up all the time. That's my system settings one. So there you go. That's what you can do with the uh, title bar, more actions, and application settings. It's the window rules. So that'll be it for this video. And maybe next time we'll continue on down the road in our Hemi. But until then, Big Daddy out.